Hi everyone! Thanks for joining me again today. Today we have a little story that we're going to read and then we're going to do a really quick little activity right after the story. I'm out in my backyard again. It's a little bit chilly today. So I did put on my coat. So hopefully that will keep me warm. I came out because it's good just to get outside. Even if it's a little chilly, it's good to get some fresh air and just take some oh, nice deep breaths. So today, boys and girls, we're going to read, it's a little windy too, we're going to read a story together called A Duck So Small. The author of this story is Eliz Elizabeth Holstein. So look at the cover, boys and girls. Remember we talk about how pictures tell us a lot about what's happening in the story? It looks like in the story I see a little duck that's a little smaller than the rest of the ducks, and he's right here in the middle. And I'm looking at his face, boys and girls. Look at his face. How do you think the duck is feeling? Do you think he's feeling happy? Do you see a happy look on his face? Or do you think that he's feeling sad? Do you see a sad look on his face? Look, his eyes are pointing down. It looks like he has a little bit of a frown under that beak. Yeah, you're right. He looks pretty sad. So I'm going to guess the story called A Duck So Small is maybe about a duck who doesn't like being so small. So let's read about the story and see what happens. So let's read. Hmm. Here we go. Start on this side over here. All right. Duffel was a very small duck. And all the other ducks laughed at him because of his size. Oh no, that's not very nice. Look, he looks so sad, doesn't he? A duck so small can do nothing at all, they jeered. I may be small, thought Duffel sadly, but there must be something I can do. He wondered what it could be. So look, there he is right there. Hmm. He's thinking all the other ducks are telling him that a duck so small can do nothing at all. Do you think that's true? I don't think that's true. Let's see what happens with Duffel. Duffel looked around and noticed a kingfisher perched on a reed. He was just about to say hello when... Kingfisher suddenly took off and dived straight as an arrow into the water. Kingfisher is small, thought Duffel, but he dives well. Perhaps I could do that too. Hmm, is that something that Duffel could do? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh my goodness, look. Look what I can do, Duffel called out to the other ducks. He flew high in the air and then came down like a falling rock. Splash! Look at him making that big splash. Duffel hit the water and did a reverse belly flop. Ha ha, what did we say, cried the other ducks. A duck so small can do nothing at all. It's not very nice of the other ducks, is it? They're using words to hurt poor Duffel's heart. Hmm. Poor Duffel felt very foolish. He climbed out onto the riverbank and wondered what to do next. Duffel saw Heron standing perfectly still on one leg in the shallow water. What good balance she has, thought Duffel. Perhaps I could do that too. Hmm. Do you think Duffel could stand on one leg like Heron? Let's find out. Look what I can do, Duffel called as he stood on one leg with his wings spread out. He wobbled this way and that and then... Thud! Oh no! Landed flat on his beak. Ha ha! What did we say? Laughed the other ducks. A duck so small can do nothing at all. Oh. Poor Duffel's trying so hard, isn't he? He sure is. Duffel 
crept into the shade of a nearby tree, so the others wouldn't see him blush. He heard a tap, tap, tap above his head. Hmm, I wonder what it was. Let's see. Looking up, Duffel saw Woodpecker making a hole in the trunk. What a strong beak he has, thought the little duck. Perhaps I could make a hole too? Hmm. What do you think? Do you think Duffel could make a hole in a tree like a woodpecker? I don't know. Look, woodpecker has a very sharp beak. Does Duffel? Hmm. Not really. So let's see. Look what I can do, Duffel called out to the other ducks. He flew up in the tree and perched on a thick branch. Peck, 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 he chipped at the wood. Whoops, he cried as he lost his balance. Duffel, Duffel toppled from the branch and... Bump. Fell to the ground. Ha, ha, what did we say, cackled the other ducks. Do you remember what the other ducks say? It's not very nice. A duck so small can do nothing at all. Oh, poor Duffel. He's trying so hard, isn't he? All the other ducks were paddling and splashing in the river. But poor Duffel decided to hide in the bushes until they left. That way he wouldn't have to listen to their teasing. I'm not good at anything. I'm just a small, useless duck, he thought. And a tear rolled down his beak. Oh, look at poor Duffel. He's very sad. For a long time, Duffel heard the other ducks quacking with laughter. It seemed as though they would never leave. Then he listened again, and they weren't laughing anymore. They were all quacking in alarm. So that means they were quacking like something was the matter. I wonder what was the matter. Duffel paddled over to see what all the fuss was about. The other ducks were crowded around a tiny hole in the riverbank where a duckling had gotten stuck. Oh no, a duckling was stuck. Oh, please help get him out, begged the duckling's mother. We will, said the other ducks, but it was no use. They were just too big to squeeze into that hole. Oh no, they were too big to squeeze into the hole to save the duckling. Hmm, I wonder if they know anyone that's just a little bit smaller. Can you think of anyone? Yeah, look! All except Duffel. Let me try, he said. And because he was so small, he was able to reach right in. Do you see him? He's saving the duckling. It didn't take him long to rescue the trapped duckling. Oh, hooray for, for Duffel! Even though he was so small, he used that to be able to save the duckling. I wonder what his duck friends are going to say now. Hooray for Tuffle, quacked one duck. None of us could have done that, said another. A duck so small can do something after all, cried a third. Oh, it was nothing, blushed Duffle. But he knew it was something. And after that, the other ducks never made fun of him again. And that's the end of our story called A Duck So Small. So boys and girls, during that story, the other ducks made fun of, du of Duffel because he was a little bit smaller. He was a little bit different. But in the end, we learned that even though Duffel was small, he was still able to do amazing things. He was able to save the little duckling. And that's how it is for all of us. We're not all big and tall and we're not all small. We're not, we don't all, we are not all the same. And that's what makes us all so wonderful and special is that we are all a little different. And we all have our own fun things that we're all good at. 
And that's why I like this story so much because it reminds us that we're not all the same and that it's okay if you're a little bit different. And those things that make us a little bit different are also the things that make us so special too. So boys and girls, I have a little activity that we're going to do. Because in this story, it talked about Duffel being a little smaller, we're going to do a little activity where we have to find things that either are smaller or bigger. So I have two things I'm going to show you. I have one pine cone and two pine cones. They're different sizes. I want you to look at the two pine cones. I'm going to put them right next to each other. Boys and girls, which pine cone is smaller? Is it this pine cone or is it this pine cone? Which one do you think? Which one is smaller? Yeah, this one is smaller. That's right. See, it's a little bit smaller. Let's try it with something else. Ooh, this time I have some markers. I have two markers. I have a purple marker and I have a red marker. I want you to listen carefully to my words. Now this time, which marker is bigger? Which marker is bigger? Is the purple marker, marker bigger? Or is the red marker bigger? Which one is bigger? That's right, the purple marker is bigger. The purple marker is bigger, good job. We're gonna do one more, and then we're gonna see how we can compare three different things together. So this time I have some plates, I have two plates. Here's one plate, and here's the other plate. Can you see them? Hmm. Which one is smaller? I'm gonna back up, that might make it, there we go. Which plate is smaller? Is this plate smaller or is this plate smaller? Which one looks smaller? You're right, this plate is smaller. Good job, look, it can fit right on top of that one. Now, boys and girls, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do it with three different objects. So I'm gonna get some things out. First, I have some cups. I have a blue cup. And here, let me see. I'm gonna push the camera back so you can see it a little better. I have a blue cup. And I have a clear cup. And I have a red cup. All right, so this time, boys and girls, when we're looking at three different things, we have to use a different sort of word. Instead of staying smaller or bigger, we're gonna say, which one is the smallest? Is the blue cup the smallest? Is the clear cup the smallest? Or is the red cup the smallest? What do you think? You're right. The clear cup is the smallest. Good job. Let's see what else I have. Ooh, this time I have some chalk. I have this gray piece of chalk. I have a blue piece of chalk. And I have a yellow piece of chalk. They're all different sizes, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So which one, listen to my words carefully, which one is the biggest? Which one is the biggest? The gray, the blue, or the yellow? the biggest. Yeah, you're right. The gray one is the biggest. Good job. Let's see. Oh, I have one more. Okay, let's see. I have some paint brushes this time. I have this paintbrush right here. I have this one in the middle. And then I have this one. So this time I'm going to ask you which paintbrush is the smallest. Which one is the smallest? This one? This one? Or this one? What do you think? You're right, it's this one. This one is the smallest. Very good, boys and girls. So boys and girls, when you're comparing the size of two things, 
like the pine cones, we can use the word smaller or bigger. If we're comparing the size of three things, like the paint brushes, we can use the word smallest or biggest. Very good, boys and girls. So boys and girls, thank you so much for coming outside with me today and reading about the duck so small. That was a great little story. And for helping me compare the sizes of different objects using smaller and bigger or smallest and biggest. That was fantastic. I hope you have a wonderful day. It feels like it's warming up a little bit, so I think you'll be able to get outside and play a little bit today, or at least I hope you do. All right, boys and girls, I miss you. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.